guys, welcome back to another episode of Cat's Science Show. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is the process where an immature or juvenile animal has to undergo at least two different stages before it becomes an adult. And those would occur when a physical form changes. So I have a couple of kits that I order so that my students can observe this process every year. And the first kit I was gonna show you is to observe butterfly um, metamorphosis. And so that would be the change um, from a caterpillar into a butterfly and it's a pretty interesting one an amazing one if you stop to slow down and just really observe it and think about what's going on um and so what i did for that is i ordered the cup of caterpillars from the insect lure kit so i purchased the insect lure kit um and in the insect lure kit it comes with the certificate so you can purchase your cup of caterpillars it also comes with your butterfly pavilion and this butterfly pavilion is awesome because it's collapsible and you can actually take off these little handles and wrap it around so it's easy storage to use again after you clean it out you store it away and then you use it again next year so then you could just order the certificate only online if, if you already have this pavilion um so i've had some success with this kit in the past they've i think 100 percent success i really think uh, from what i can remember these always make it to the adult form for me um so i have my certificate i go online and doo -doo 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 -doo, i type in my certificate number and then they send me this package and inside the package it says fragile handle with care which i like that tells me hey you care about your animals you want them to get there safely um, it comes with a cup of caterpillars, which is this right here. In the cup of caterpillars, you never have to open it. Well, I say never, but you don't have to open it while they're caterpillars um, at all. Do not open it. Inside, there is all everything they need to survive to make it to be a chrysalis. And so it looks kind of gross right now, but um, there's the food at the bottom. All my little caterpillar dudes are in there. Um, and there's air holes at the top. So there's no need to open it. Um, at this point at least <laughs> so what comes is that um, also what came in my kit this year was I was excited about little bonus butterfly garden seeds so I can't wait to plant those I was excited about that the other thing that came in the kit that was different for me was this little guy here this is a log and this little log has a slit in it. it's plastic um, but I cannot tell you how excited I was to see this in here because in the past it didn't come with this and you would have to carefully peel the paper off the cup and then pin it to the top of your butterfly pavilion. And that was a very nerve wracking process for me. Like it, it traumatized me. I was afraid I was gonna kill one of my chrysalids and oh no, it was all gonna be on me. So, but I'm so thankful because what you do now is you take this little uh, plastic log and you put, once they become a chrysalis, which will be the next phase, you let them harden for a few days and then you can carefully open the lid carefully open the lid and then you put it here sideways and so the chrysalids will hang just like they need to in nature but i don't have to try to pin them to the top of the pavilion anymore so i was so super excited about that i cannot even i'm so excited so um also included in this box was it's time to grow caterpillar quick guide it tells you everything you need about the stages of metamorphosis that your caterpillars will experience and what to do at each stage also a little read me packet and it has that um, some information about what to do when you first get your caterpillars um, it says they may be inactive for 24 to 48 hours from the shipping um, process but they should be fine and mine were they they're all fine they've all made it so far so so the next thing that i would do is i'm going to wait for them to turn to a chrysalis and then i will open the lid after a couple of days after they they harden um, and so I also have this little kit, or not kit, but this little example I wanted to show you. This is the kind of butterfly it will become. It's a painted lady. It is native to Texas, so I get to let them free um, when they become a butterfly. But um, this is a great way to see the whole metamorphosis life cycle from an egg all the way to a chrysalis and then a butterfly. So my students really love to look at this. They get an up-close view of the actual metamorphosis process metamorphosis process okay and then i also want 
wanted to show you another way that we get to observe metamorphosis this year. And that is with this cute little grow a frog kit. I love this kit and it's actually the only time I've ever ordered a tadpole or had a tadpole that I've been able to observe complete metamorphosis without um, the tadpole dying. So I'm, I'm so excited to have this again. Um, you order this, I ordered this from Amazon. I don't know if there's somewhere else you can get it, but this is a super great kit, super cute. Um, on the side, it gives you some information about the kind of tadpole that you're gonna receive. And it says that he has see-through skin. And he's so that means he's bred in a lab. He was never wild caught. They created him in a lab specifically so you can observe metamorphosis by watching him grow. Um, and with his see-through glass, like skin, you can see that process happen from the inside and it's pretty interesting to observe. You also see that um, he says he's just like a fish. Well, no, he's not just like a fish. He's nothing like a fish. He changes, he goes through metamorphosis, people, but it's saying that because he's actually a fully aquatic frog. So he will live his whole entire life in water. Um, he won't ever, uh, live on a rock or jump around or you won't be able to hold him he is a fully aquatic species of frog so um his next stage he will go to a bigger habitat with airflow um and a fresh water supply so that he can live a happy little froggy life um the other thing is is to help um, speed up not really speed up but help promote the metamorphosis process. I have some spring water on hand all the time and I put a little bit in each day so that it emulates the um, rainy season. And so that promotes him to go through that metamorphic process, the fresh water always being available. So another thing that came with the kit, of course, um, is with this Grow Frog kit, something that came with that is this little instruction booklet. And I love just personally looking at it. I like the little illustrations. They're so classic looking. And in there, there is um, all the information you need to know about your frog. Um, there's also the TAD tag. And so you, when you're ready for your frog, you go online, you type that TAD tag number in. And um, then they send you your little buddy. They won't ship him to you if the temperature where you live is not above 30 degrees and it has to be below 79. And it says that in your kit. So make sure you read that. Also, I like this particular company quite a bit because it gives you a lifetime guarantee. So if a misfortune may happen with your little tadpole buddy, you just let them know about it and they'll send you a froglet um, and you just pay the shipping. But I like that they back their product up. I really have respect for that a lot. So um, also included with this is the gravel, that blue gravel at the bottom. And you also get in this Grow Frog kit, this box, you get his stage one food and a little scooper so you know exactly how much to give him each day. This stage one food is good for when he still has a tail. That's the stage one where you still give him this food. Once he loses his tail, you'll want to buy um, the stage two food from the Grow Frog company. This, I like this food too because you know it comes from the lab, it comes from where they were born and raised, and so it has all the nutrients that they need in order to sur survive. And so it meets their nutritional needs. Um, so once I went in, I ordered my frog online, um, what arrived in the mail was the whole little green habitat, as well as my little tadpole friend, and he came in a bag that would be similar to what you would get from the pet store whenever you buy a new fish. So um, he was safely, um, he safely came and I was ready for him. I had my spring water ready and I helped him acclimate to the temperature of the water by just placing the bag with him in it in the new tank with a little bit of water in it. And so I allowed him to acclimate to that water temperature. Well, um, I think that's it now. I just wanted to show you and kind of give you a preview of what to expect if you wanted to order these kits yourself um, because they are living creatures. And so we want to make sure that we're ready to properly take care of them when they arrive. Um, next, I want to give you a little bit of a closer look at what the caterpillars look like right now and what uh, my little tadpole, I love him so much already, I'm sorry, what my little tadpole looks like already because you have to see his cute little legs that are already coming out. So I wanted to show you those close up. 
I also wanted to make sure to give one of my students a shout out because I know he'll be watching this show, but he did an amazing solar system project and I wanted to make sure that you guys had a chance to see it. It was a lot of hard work. So um, anyway, but I will see you guys here in just a minute. I wanna give you a close up view of these little living critters and I'll see you here in a minute. Well, I know you guys wanted to get a closer up look of these little critters. And this is the tadpole. I've just been calling him Tad. I'm not quite sure what his frog name is gonna be. Um, but I wanted to give you a chance to get a closer view of what he looks like. And he's kind of, he's wanting to stay in that corner right now. I don't want to harass him too much, but I did want you to get a close view of his little back legs because those will be changing. You see how cute those are? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And um, those will be changing a lot over the next couple of weeks, as well as his tail is constantly moving in the water so that he remains stable in that water. Um, but let me see if I can get a view of what, oh, he keeps moving. Come on, come on, Tad. Um, he, there we go. You can kind of see this particular species of frog is called an African clawed frog. You do get to observe metamorphosis as he changes from a tadpole to an adult frog. He has these little tiny, like, whisker-like, um, things at the front of his mouth. And... Um, he's pretty easy going. He's been doing great um, since I got him. Well, here's a closer up view of the caterpillars. And they look like they have little spiky things on their bodies. And that's probably their only form of protection. And like I said, you do not want to open this when you get it. As tempting as it is, as cute as they are, it's better for them if they are just kind of left alone right now. Left alone as much as possible so they can undergo these big changes they're about to go through to become an adult. Okay, well this is the project I was telling you about. I got some amazing projects in this week. And I wanted to show you how Dylan um, put some lights in to really show that light and thermal energy that we get from the sun. I really also, I love lots of things about all the projects I've seen. I love the Saturn though. Look at the details on the rings of Saturn. So great job, Dylan. Thank you so much for all of your hard work in science this year. You've been doing such a great job. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching another episode of Cat's Science Show. I really hoped you enjoyed seeing our tadpole and our caterpillars. And I will make sure to post another video once they get into their next stage, the chrysalis and the froglet to show you how they progress and grow. See you later, bye.